Let's talk about cameras. You might ask the question, what camera is best for me? Which camera should I start with? Well, you can start with the one you have, which is your phone. If you have one of the high-end phones, then that's the best place to start with. However, if you want to take it to the next level, you might be thinking, should I go for a DSLR? Should I go for a mirrorless camera or the smaller point-and-shoot cameras? Honestly, that depends on you, on your budget, on what you want to do with the camera. Uh, most people, they like to go for DSLRs, so they do start with, with the kit lens, but the problem with DSLRs is that it's too big, so if you're comfortable going out in public with that heavy as camera, it's okay. Good thing about DSLRs is for sure there is an external mic input and there's more lenses to choose from. That is one of the limitations that I've noticed when it comes to mirrorless camera, unless you have that adapter. So DSLRs, amazing, especially if you want to go for photography as well on top of videography. Number two, the mirrorless cameras. It is amazing. There are other brands. I'm used to Canon, so I do have a Canon M10. It is amazing. It's just that the lens that I have or the lineup of the lens that they have for Canon mirrorless cameras is not that great. I have an 11 to 22 mil lens. I have the 15 to 45 mil and the 18 to one. I forgot, but yeah. And the problem I have with it is the aperture is 3.5. That's like the minimum aperture. So you're kind of limited when it comes to like low light. If you want to buy a lens, then you need to buy one of those adapters. Um, I heard that they, there's like a Rokinon or something, but it's really hard to find in here. So yeah, that's, that's the downside that I noticed. And yeah, it does, it, it has an external microphone, so which is great. But the thing is, lenses are expensive, so just be ready. A lens that costs almost half the cost of your camera. Same goes with DSLR. If you do not have a budget, then for me, my opinion, it's better to go for the smaller point and shoot cameras. We have the Sony's in the Canon's. So we've got G7X Mark II and Sony RX100 Mark V and then there's a newer Mark VI. The downside is it doesn't have an external microphone. I thought it was going to be a big deal but it's not really a big deal. These cameras are amazing because the aperture is low, as low as 1.8 and that is really good in low light situations. These cameras are also good, it has like IS, so that's great as well. The last option, if you do not have that much money to spend, is to get a GoPro. This is good because it's, it's so small, it's discreet, it's versatile, and the only thing about this is you've got limited setting. But I do see a lot of YouTubers, a lot of vloggers who has amazing footage using this. You can also attach an external microphone, but I can't find one, so I'm like stuck with the internal microphone, which is okay, but not too great. So that's about it for this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and let me know your thoughts on the comment section. I will see you on my next one.